Yeah, there we go. And then again, that sense of you're down, and then you'd be going up, and you'd be going down. And to the outside world, you're not going anywhere, <laughs> right? But that stops you doing all the side bending and all that stuff. The handle, there you go, that's better. So it come deeper than that. Yeah, I know. That's when your collarbone stops, right there. There you go. Everything else starts sneaking into other stuff. We got lots of stuff to do. There you go. See, once this stops moving, so if I did this to you, how would you stop me? Nothing to do with the handle, is it? There you go. Lift yourself. There, that's it, good. <laughs> It's a little sneaky habit, that up off the seat feeling, up off the seat feeling. Yeah, there you go. You're almost like you're trying to use your abs to... That's crazy, right? It's no different than the, oh, I'm starting to, right? Because otherwise what's happening, you're doing this, this thing here where you're hanging down and it turns into I'm falling in the same direction. I'm side bending in the same direction. I'm like, wait a minute. If anything, I'm trying to go that way so it can... And then there's an end here. Like I, I, I can go further, but it's nothing to do with anything I wanted to do. If you feel like some shoulder stability things or whatever, and that feels like you can move, th this is just letting my shoulder blade go more. I'm not really going up, I'm going around my rib cage. Does that make sense, right? So if I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm coming around my rib cage. By the time I'm finished, I, I can't go any further. The handle can, but it's gonna be me trying to find some way to move the handle. Does that make more sense? And then the rest is this, you understanding body movement from there. Yeah, how's that feel? Yeah. So you can see all this, you can't get this out of it, right? But we're trying to drag this around here. Up, 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 up to get down. There you go, that was better. You feel just when you started to want to drop on it, right? You get here, it's like, oh, shorten the range. I'm like, that's where you stopped. Everything else you did was wanting to, to move your arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can get it further. I don't really feel it further, but I well, you feel it. Me a bit straighter as well. Yeah, yeah, you would tend to want to tip over a little bit. So it was like, on that side, you yeah, you tend to want to tip, tip over. So that sense of like wanting to keep sort of sliding over here. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no, 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 wait, I want you to stay up, 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 up. I was like, oh, then my lats have to do stuff to hold my spine yeah. as opposed to like mm, this, like I'm, look, I'm moving it now, I'm moving it. It's like, well, I'm nothing, <laughs> right? I haven't done anything and I'm, so I can go further. It's like, well, but that the further doesn't matter. It doesn't match what we're trying to train. That was great, much better. So we're gonna do a slightly different position here. We'll do a single, but I need you to use both legs. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish, okay? So this is easy for you, no problem. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add rotation at the end. And if you see on this side, I'm not rotating and finishing arm. I'm actually finishing my rotation, then I'm using my legs to rotate my spine. Okay, does that make sense to you, right? It's a little, it's a little fan fancier than most people do this. So we're nice and tall through here, hips are behind you, right? Taller, 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 there, that curve is forward, there you go. So as you pull back, we'll get to a point, no, I'm not even rotating it. So you get back to that point like you're square. Hold there, now keep all this with you, you're gonna use your legs to rotate your spine, there. Okay, so it's not anymore, you're just dragging it around a corner with this. Yeah. Got it? So we come back through, use your legs to put it down, use your legs to pick it back up. There's our square, and then we're gonna turn the whole spine with your legs. There, make sense now? That should feel like quite a nasty little hinge there. Okay, because most people are adding more there, and that spine, there. Okay, we gotta use both legs to do that. So legs to put it down. So if I did this to you, you'd stop me. Yeah, then use your legs to turn. There, got it? Just trying to push through your hips, through your legs to turn. Yes, you gotta use those legs. Yeah, that's better. You see why the legs are so important, right? It's almost like a shift of your hips with your quads. Yeah, we gotta keep our hips driving through to stabilize so we can tighten up all this extra stuff. Because this is the area that you wanna get to Right? That's why we need our legs for that. Yeah, good. See, so it's like what? Two degrees, three degrees, not a huge rotation. Yes, Charlie, great. Legs through, there, get it. Much better. There's so many people, if the pull is from above you, then there's a downward opposition. 
but this is pulling you straight forward. So the only thing that looks like down is the elbows dropping, but I'm not dragging that's down. Straight. That's still coming at you. So, so once you get fixed here, if you see somebody like, that's why you see so many people getting into this weird side bend thing. I'm like, well, I don't know if I want to use ridiculous load with my side, side bend and advantage and stuff like that. It's like, I can just, they realize this is just, this is just, this is dropping, but that's still coming right at me. So if I lined all this up, it'd still be coming backwards. Again, same hand position. Yeah, same thing, yep. There you go, good. And if I snuck him back here, you'd be stopping me here, right? Not here, you'd be stopping me here. So if I did this to you, you'd have to fight me. Yes, there you go. Good. And I'm gonna learn to let my shoulders go. Let my shoulders go, because they gotta pull. Pull, yes, there you go. Let my shoulders go. Use your legs to put it down. There, use your, there you go. Good, use your legs to put it down. Let the shoulders go. Hips are there, drive away. You got it, you got it. Chest through, chest through, good. That's it, last one. Drive, shoulders, shoulders, not hands, shoulders. Good, and relax. That was good. Uh, the, the difference when you push from behind, I'm just trying to think how I can. Oh, you're just not used to. You're just not used to it. You're just not used to having to push away. You're used to standing. Yeah, right away it's like, oh, right? So as soon as it's like, oh, I want to collapse, and it's like, well, they give you plates. You're just used to all your attention went there. Good, so I want you to go slow enough. You got all that help, right? Good. Now, it's not a, it's not a chest up thing, right? It's a throat forward thing. And then these are gonna feel broken back just a little underneath. There, yep. Now, if I said that narrow thing happens again, so this is what's moving in space, not your chin. Yeah, so you're getting heavy, and then you're going up between your arms. Otherwise, you're trying to pull the handles down, right? So don't worry about lifting your chest up. Worry about moving this narrow rib cage up straight. There you go, like you're in a tube. There, that's better. Oh, that was better. See? Got a boy, good. That thought process of opposites is massive. I've never thought that. Yeah, so most people are going in the same direction. It's like, wait a minute, you're supposed to, supposed to go around and go around. So if we were on the floor or something in a, or a Pilates machine, we would be moving around our, our, our sled. Does that make sense, right? And so as soon as you're moving through, it's like, oh, wow, that's really different. I'm going between my arms. You ever see little kids when they start climbing, um, like rock climbing, yeah, they're really good at it, almost <laughs> invariably. Or when little kids decide to start crawling around and then people say, oh my God, they climbed up the bookcase and they all freak out. Well, because they just take crawling and they just use their legs and go. We as adults are like, I'm gonna pull the mountain down on me. And then a guy's one foot off the ground and his arms are shaking. You're like, you're literally trying to pull the things off the mountain you're, where the kids are like, the kids dig in and they climb up, they crawl up the wall. And so we're not thinking about hooking and pushing. We somehow think we're supposed to like single arm rope our way up. Naturally, I try to use my biceps too much. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. But this is also when you go, man, I gas out. And like, yeah, well, we're not using the bigger guys. You're trying to pull yourself up. It's like, yeah, those arms get tired. So that, if that felt like a much different exercise, like, oh, yeah, my serratus has to pop out and that's, it's like, Oh, that's all those support stuff. So I want that. That's gonna keep a healthy shoulder all the time, right? So let's try it one more time. These are literally moving this way, under. Yeah, there you go. So this is what's lengthening. We gotta let the shoulder blades go so we can move. Yes, there you go. And then just don't run away from the, from the helper. Yeah, that's great. Look at that, jeez. Through, through. Through, yes, Charlie, that's great. All right, did it feel better when I put my hands there? Like kind yeah, of a funny, even though it's like, I'm not doing anything, saying that sensation of driving. Oh, wow, yeah, but nothing changed. 
So I'm literally not doing anything but have giving you, seen you that. People progress from this, for example, and then go into full chin ups, no problem. The same. Oh yeah, for sure. But but you can do them so well that once you start to add or take away help, yeah. it's like oh wow yeah. Now if I let you accelerate, chances are if I start getting form a goal, or you'll be like oh I can actually do them quite well. Yeah but I'm allowed to accelerate stuff. And part of me goes, all right, if we're just doing chin-ups, who cares if it's like a fitness test? Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Most people aren't marking you for like, that's a good one, that's not a good one, unless we're in some CrossFit world or something. But most of them are doing, you know, kind of kip up weird yeah. whatevers and that's not, you know, salmon board type stuff. It's like, whatever. But if I'm trying to get the most out of these, that much help gives you the most amount of squeeze and then by all means, start making it heavier. It's like, great. 10 feels still like, wow, I can get everything out of it, but I got 10, maybe 12. Great, take away some help. Man, now we're back to that 10 being right where it's supposed to be. But now you're seeing progression. It's just, the weight's going up. It's just reverse, right? So, so yeah, you'll easily get that up. Depending on how much motion I have in my shoulders, for some guys, they're already jammed in like this, but we should be able to say bicep up. Does that make sense? So we'd end up kind of out on the side versus in here. And so from here, it's gonna take me, it should take me up. It takes me back pretty close. That's as close as I'm really gonna get. But when I come back through, this typically in the old days had a belt. Why would we have a belt? Because by the time I get to here, I actually wanna be going where? I gotta be going towards you. So this looks like down. This looks like down. This starts looks like up and backwards. So I'd have to go towards you, downwards, and then almost off the machine and usually you'd have a belt to do, okay? So you gotta think about shoulder blades. You'd be pushing into the belt. Does that make sense? So if you find one that fits you and everything's working. Yeah, right there is good. So this would be here, 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 and then you'd be coming at me by the time we get to the end. So we'd have to get that motion again. What we just worked on, yeah. we would end up, oh, we'd be here, right? Which is just that. So your collarbones go backwards there so oh, this is that's that finish by right? even some some body bros yeah the collarbone's going behind you so there's no down by the time you get there it's just backwards there you go and there's that up and then there's sort of backish and it's forward and then there's downwards it looks like our chin up and then it's our row again oh see so it's kind of three things going on there's an up to back there's a forward to down, and then there's a backwards by the time we finish. And then we can use our body weight to kind of get a sense of stabilizing that. That'd be that heavy position, that'd be up, and then that would be forward. There we go, and it's all about not letting the arms take over. It's like, can I get the collarbones to move? Well, as soon as I pulled that in yeah. and that. Oh, whoa, there's all that serratus pops. Because it's lengthening it more, because it's pulling of that in. All of a sudden you have some tension versus the rib cage is is all of a sudden floating up up towards the serratus like versus all oh, hold that in, and yeah. you can anchor yeah all of a sudden it's like oh whoa there's that feeling of oh that interdigitation and everything's linked in there that's a great move okay biceps there's a bit of a dead zone here though right because when i come down here my long arms your long arms the only help i have feels like i want to go this way so if I see a preacher with an angle to it, it's like I got to think about the whole surface down. The, why I have to do that is by the time I come around here, if I start wanting to pull this to me, I want to move off this, right? And so I want to think about driving down. And if I do, then there's no, there's actually no work here for me, okay? So maybe somebody else's body, I don't know. But this is where I would stop based on the angle of this. Make sense, right? If I went here, that's actually triceps for me. Can you see it that way? Okay, so from here, we're gonna keep a weak wrist, and all we're doing is sliding uphill here. Okay, makes sense, but we're driving down on this whole surface. Pushing down for sure, yep. Yeah, we're gonna play with that broken wrist again. So we're thinking about our fingers, not our palms. How's that weight feel, pretty light? Yeah. You wanna go heavier than that just to start, or you wanna just find it? Yeah, I can go down another one. A little bit? Now, if I look at all this stuff, these guys are moving away and they're coming around, right? So when I come down, I'm not going backwards, I'm going, I'm going away. That makes sense to you, right? So these are driving down. This gets heavier, right, when we get really strong. 
but this is just pulling up your arm. Make sense, right? And then this is just sliding. So there's no picking this up. This is driving downwards. There you go. And supination is just really external rotation of the shoulder. Make sense? So like that? Yeah, see how these are facing up? So we're gonna keep them facing up. Does that change it for you there? Yeah. See how that just slides up underneath? And so just picture something under your biceps. And when you think about what's under your biceps is what we're gonna try and deal with. There you go. And then it just lays out. So it's going kind of that way, that way, and then there, down. It's right there, yeah. See how you can feel it just drops off past there. It's like when you hit peak contractions, like there. Yeah, and then, and then everything else kind of feels like it's a different thing. Because your arms have to come this way and the machine is not gonna come down with you. There you go, unless the cable came from up here or something. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, you got it. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you got it. There. Through the machine. Yeah. There you go. Christ. That, I think you, me being set in a position of someone passing it, I think is a big one. Yeah. But it's like somebody comes down, grabs their grip on a deadlift, then sets their hips versus they set their hips, come down and grab their grip. It's two different. We're the same thing, no, not, not, not always necessarily the same thing, right? If they get down there, no problem, but sometimes they grab and they pull themselves passively down that position versus, no, no, I set my shoulders, set my hips, come down, get my grip, and I'm good to go, right? So two different, and especially around this, it might be like, yeah, so a partner, not a big deal, right? Because otherwise it's like, yep, I'm gonna worry about my grip, then I get back here, and then let me fix my shoulders. So it might be a simple fix for you to say, yeah, doesn't have to be that heavy, just hand it to me. Not a big deal, right? Okay, so that's one more set then, you got it. But the goal is to make it inefficient, to get more out of it versus, oh, I wanna make it heavier, so I'll slowly I change the, I feel better, it looks and better. It looks and, like and it looks like I'm getting stronger, but really I'm just, I don't, usually it's I don't look better, but I'm moving more weight, right? For most people that don't look amazing in the gym, are like, well, I, I'm moving more load, <laughs> right? Yeah. Four plates has gotta be better, so. I don't look good, but I'm moving more low. And that's like, you're chasing the wrong dragon. That makes sense, right? Okay, now, we're gonna play with one of these. Now I'm on a single, and I don't have a, I don't have a swivel thing here. If they had fixed this as a swivel, this would be perfect, because you could just like, kind of go wherever you want. But I can't, so I gotta line me up. So I'm kind of angled off this side here. I don't really care if you, if you use a, we can find another one if this doesn't feel great for you. I don't wanna get my thumb around that, it's too thick for me. But again, we go back to, oh, it unloads. So it's like, okay, same thing. This has to point up. This is gonna end up, I don't know anybody that's on top. Anybody's carry angle is a little different. Mine's probably about 10 or 15 degrees, which means it's gonna end up beside me. It's not gonna end up on top. Got it? Come straight back over yourself. Yeah, yeah. But my, my carry angle is that. So that's not, that's not straight, that's there. So now you can set this, you can be anywhere you want on the handle, but this is kind of set to here. Where this lines up is just over there based on the elbow. Yeah, there you go. So this positioning doesn't matter, right? All this is just, this matters. This is being lined up to the cable. Yeah, this is lined up to the cable. As I said, you could be over there if this, if this had a pulley that could swivel it like a follow handle. There you go. And again, that sense of, there, there. It's better than you. Yeah, you can feel where that line is. Yeah. Way hard, suddenly. Yeah, all of a sudden that got really hard, what happened there? There you go. Hammer curls, we're gonna do them both together at the same time, is pretty classic for all this elbow stuff. The carry angle still exists. That's the funny part. The carry angle is still, is still here. We're gonna think about our fingers, right? Creating grip, not in our palms. And then from there, this looks like I'm pulling in, doesn't it? So I have all this forward backwards stuff we've been doing. This is backwards and forwards, right? I don't, a lot of people will see this kind of crazy stuff, like we're drinking from it or something, right? At the end of the day, this radial deviation is important to maintain the whole time. Because what I want to see is 
this, this bunch of stuff is actually pulling here just as much as stuff is pulling here. So two, two series of forces. So you're trying to minimize that movement. We're going to maintain that the whole yeah, just time. Just keep, keep it like. So neutral. we don't come down and drop it yeah, yeah, yeah. and pick it back. We're going to keep it the whole time, which means they're all pulling and to the elbow. Do the similar thing in terms of almost trying to come out slightly. Yeah, this is the, this this is that bicep position. Look what happens here. Nothing's different. Like, oh, it might look look maybe looks more, but it's the, it's just my radius moving. So the elbow still fits the same. So the rules still apply. Okay. Your sh this is shoulder flexion too. So funny if these are going forward because you're going back and we're pushing forward, right? Because these and these and these are all pushing forward. Yeah, I should see pecs and I should see delts. You're just choosing to bend this one. So this goes not downwards, right? If I had an arm blaster, this would be here. So That's I'm called to your keep, arm blaster. I'm trying to keep the elbow forwards. Yeah, okay. you're trying to keep your bicep forward. Okay, so don't let the elbow move. Yeah, your bicep's sitting there like a post. Okay, so like that. You're making your bicep, yeah, there you go. You feel that changing now? Yeah. So these are all pushing forward and you're keeping that rather than somebody body drags back. Right, that's the down part. It's like, oh no, I keep that, so I have to hinge around it. So what most people are doing is because this, this stops it up, but this comes back in, this is still work, right? Now, if somebody was here, be like, oh, that drops off, so they're like, oh, that's no. But it's like, oh, so then they stop at this, but it's like, no, no, once I'm here, that's, that's still work, that's still work, that's still work. It's just a drawbridge, right? All I'm doing is pulling in the drawbridge. It's not really lift the bridge, is it? It's pull it in. So that still work there. So I'm not really aware to start unpacking that. My brain is as tired as my body from trying to like comprehend all the information from that. Uh, there's a lot of things there. I think the biggest thing I'm most excited about is probably trying to fix my left bicep and get that to match my right in terms of sides. And I think the big thing in terms of the movement pattern was coming out here, particularly on this left side. As you see those dumbbell hammer curls at the end is a huge win. And I think in, in calf training at the end, again, I think the big thing me thinking is just like forward and back movements rather than up and down is a huge one. So. We're going to get a few more sessions with Eric while I'm here and we're going to film all of those as well. I'm going to put all of this into like workout programs and stuff you guys can download for free. So I have, the, have those out whenever we finish all of this training series we're putting together. So if you've enjoyed this content, make sure you smash the like button. Comment below any questions you have. Hit the subscribe button. And if you need help with your own fitness journey, if you hit the link below this video, you can book in your free fitness strategy call with myself and the CJ coaching team. And we'll see you in the next video soon.